Gwyneth is a strength-based ranger hero from the Lightbearer faction who specializes in damage and control. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at her skills and abilities, her uses and team compositions, and whether or not it's worth investing in this hero. For her ultimate ability, Divine Arrow, she's going to fire an arrow into the air. It will split into multiple arrows and rain down on the enemy's half of the battlefield, dealing damage and reducing their accuracy. However, the one catch is if there are no enemies on their side of the battlefield, she cannot activate this ability. Gwyneth this next ability, a Flaming Arrow, is a passive that states her basic attacks will attack the enemy directly opposite her, and also her arrows will have a chance to become Flaming Arrows, which will deal extra damage over time to the enemies, whilst also reducing their health recovery rate. Next up, we have Lightning Arrow, which is another passive that gives her arrows a chance to become Lightning Arrows, dealing damage to the target that will also spread vertically to nearby enemies. Now, on top of this, you can combine the arrows to get Flaming and lightning arrows so that you can spread the flame and with skill ups the lightning arrows do actually stun the enemies when they hit them and for her final ability which is yet another passive this one increases her accuracy her crit rating and her crit damage when there are no enemies in close proximity to Gwyneth Gwyneth's signature item, a Shooting Star, is going to increase her attack rating when in close proximity to allies, but also at level 20, it's going to allow her to fire off two arrows in quick succession whenever her or a nearby ally uses their ultimate ability. Now for the Furniture ability, Arrows of Swiftness. At level 3, this is going to make Gwyneth's first arrow that she fires a Flaming and Lightning arrow and also increase its damage by 15%. And for level 9, following the death of any enemy, she will proc another arrow that does have flaming and lightning attributes, once again with increased damage. There's three core parts of Gwyneth's skill set to consider when building a team around her. Firstly, most of the effects stack on top of her basic attack, so anything that's going to improve her basic attack speed or just basic attack power in general is going to be really helpful for her. Next up, we have the fact that her lightning arrows spread damage vertically. So being able to push enemies in line with each other is going to help that damage spread. Now, keeping in mind, she does also like to be in the middle back row to get that proper spread, because even though it does spread vertically, if she's at the top, it won't spread all the way down to the bottom enemy. And the final thing to consider is her positioning with her allies, but also her enemies. She's going to increase her own stats when she's further away from her enemies, but also gain those boosts when she's close to her allies. So there are many compositions that you can end up using with Gwyneth, but the two most common ones are tied into using Arthur with her to really buff that basic attack speed and damage. And then the second comp is gonna be burst compositions where she uses her burst damage and control to overpower an enemy team. The standard Gwyneth Arthur team is also gonna consist of Rosaline. You can make Rosaline follow Gwyneth, which is going to give her that extra buff from her signature item. And for the remaining two teammates, something like Estrilda or Hendrik can be really optimal in the front row, allowing them to knock back the enemies in the front row in line with the back row enemies, allowing those Gwyneth lightning arrows to hit them as well. And for the final position on the team, it just depends on the enemy you're fighting and what you need to bring. If you'd like some more control, you can bring a Pharrell. If you'd like some healing and extra haste for Gwyneth, you can bring a Numisu. And if you're having trouble getting the damage spread on the enemies, you could always bring a Lawson for his link ability to spread that damage. Now, the way this team is going to function, ideally, Arthur will have a 30 sing trident. He's going to run into battle, meaning that area behind him is going to buff his teammates, being the Gwyneth and whoever else you have behind him, allowing Gwyneth to deal that extra damage with her basic attacks. Then Rosaline is going to run up to Gwyneth, increasing her damage. Now, on top of that, you have the front row, Estrilda, or Hendrik that are going to be knocking back those enemies in line, allowing those lightning arrows to hit multiple enemies. And with the stun effect from her lightning arrows, the enemies get interrupted a lot and she manages to burst the enemies down. The next team we're going to look at is a burst composition using Iron in the front row to group enemies up, allowing Gwyneth's lightning arrows to hit four enemies from the back mid row. Then we're also going to use a Lawson as a sacrificial lamb in the front row just to link the damage between those enemies um, and allow Gwyneth to deal even more damage. Then we're going to bring a Lyca for the haste and a Zolrath for, to slow the enemy's entry into the battlefield. Now, if we don't have a Zolrath, we can use something like an Estrilda instead, but Zolrath's passive is going to be really strong in conjunction with Iron. 
And the way this team's going to achieve victory is the grouped up enemies by Iron are all going to get hit by the lightning arrows of Gwyneth, dealing massive damage to them, also interrupting them. And then you also have the Lawson link between two enemies, which is going to make them take effectively double damage. The haste from Lyca is just going to add to the effect, plus the armor break. And like the name of the team says, it's going to burst them down pretty fast. And with that out of the way, we ask the question, is it worth investing in Gwyneth? And the better question is, how much is it worth investing in Gwyneth? She's a fantastic hero. However, she doesn't require full investment to be really functional. For her signature item, a really good upgrade for the ability is level 20, allowing her to get those extra shots off. However, if you wanna go one step further, level 25 of Gwyneth's signature item is gonna give her increased haste, allowing her to attack more often, which really does buff her damage. So the great thing about her is you don't really need the 30 signature item to be really functional, but you can get a really good buff just by going to 25. As for her furniture, Gwyneth can work very well with zero furniture investment because the furniture just guarantees her some flaming lightning arrows you can always just retry campaign and tower stages to obtain those flaming lightning arrows. However, in PvP, if that is your main focus, it's a nice one to pick up because you don't get those retries in PvP. So that is going to be it for Gwyneth, a very unique hero in the game, being a strength-based ranger and having a lot of things just tied to her basic attacks, but still incredibly strong with great burst damage and control and very powerful in teams.